Okay, um, this is going to be a hard clip for me to make, but uh, this is what sent me over the edge here. <laughs> and harassment, and doxing, and people doxing my friends, and like, so much horrible, vile things, all of them streaming a fucking video game. <laughs> it's just yeah, this is so insane. hard for me to watch. <laughs> Like, hey, it reads hey, and it doesn't help anyone. And I don't know, I, I got to the point where I was, I was sick of seeing hatred all over and guilt trip. Yep. Okay, so called allies who are claiming to be speaking on behalf of the LGBTQIA community, those of you who drove Silvervale to this point point you are despicable and you do not speak for that community the people i know in that community are nice kind warm welcoming people they are sane and they understand that you can separate art from the artist in fact some of them are actually playing this game that this goes in part to support ejk and they don't really want to support her but they do want to support the developers so if they can separate the art from the artist and enjoy it for what it is, and not bully people like Silvervale has been bullied in this clip, then why are you bullying people like this? As it is not helping anyone. It's not helping your cause. In fact, it has probably cost a lot more sales like it actually has done here. Tripping on random art tweets. It's literally like... <sighs> They gang up on mm. so many random tweets about Valentine's Day or art or automated posts. Like they they want to post so much negativity everywhere, and I just got sick of it. So I block people because yep, I just want breathing her. room. And I did see a few of the um, a few of the blocks, and frankly. I understand why she did it because Twitter sucks. A lot of people go to that place for bigotry and hatred and just dogpile on people because they think it's trendy. They want to look cool and edgy. Well, you know what I say to those people who are bullying people like Silvervale, who are trying to intimidate people like me, who just want to have fun playing games, who shoot the breeze, talk to people, you know, just, you know, generally, you know, just have a good time have a few hours of escapism and to forget about the waking world for a couple of hours, three, four hours, five hours a day, or if you could stream full time up to eight hours a day or more, you know what I say to those people who do that kind of bullshit? And yes, I am doing this on a recording. Because you people have just made her another sale because of bullying people like Silvervale. And some of you might be asking, why did I record myself buying that game? Why did I incite that? Well, this is the context why. When I saw this clip, I, or it sent me over that edge. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you later. You can call yourself an ally all you want, but you're not. If you're bullying people for playing that game, for playing Hogwarts Legacy, to the point where they are falling on stream, I don't care what your cause is at that point. You are not doing it any help whatsoever. You are actually setting that cause back because you cannot get out of your own damn way and see what you're doing is harming people. You are magnifying the negative sentiment to the community you're trying to advocate for. If you really care about what you're doing, do something like what Fruit is doing. Donate to charities that are helping these people. Go out, do something local in your community. Talk to the children that are struggling with these kinds of issues. Actually do something tangible. Don't sit there and harass people like Silvervale who are just trying to enjoy a childhood memory. Don't sit there and try to act like you're all high and mighty when you're down in the dirt with the rest of us.